Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to an in-depth infection guide. Now, I have looked at the infections for quite a while, and instead of just telling you guys, you know, what you can use and what you can't use and stuff like that, I wanted to go in depth so that you guys can understand it. Yes, if I can give you the short version, if you've got antibiotics, it will solve any infections that you have, okay? You don't have to worry about dirty clothes. You don't have to worry about wound germs. You don't have to worry about external pathogens. If you've got antibiotics, it will clear the infection really, really quickly, and you don't have to worry about infections at all. The thing is, antibiotics are very, very expensive. So I wanted to give you guys the cheapest and easiest way to solve the infection problem as quickly as possible, okay? So what I've got here at the moment is dirty clothing from a puppet, okay? So I kill the puppet. You can see all the clothing is at 93% dirtiness, okay? And this is what's going to influence the external pathogens in a wound, okay? But all I'm going to do now is spawn in... Um, Basically, five items to simplify this for you guys as fast as possible. Okay, so here we are, guys. I have studied this for a few days, and then I went and looked at the prices at the traders, and out of all the medical equipment that you can buy at the traders, the isotropyl alcohol is definitely the cheapest. I think it's about a 1000 Okay, now if you haven't got money or you can't run to a trader, you can still use these basic methods to solve problems. Okay, now when you spawn into the map or when you get clothing, you can wash it with soap. Okay, so you will get soap across the map. And as you can see, most of our clothing is quite clean 1.6% dirtiness. You know, it's, it's quite clean. Okay, and um, this. This one is at 0 0.8. Um, so the longer you are in game, the dirtier, you, the dirtier your clothing becomes. But most of the time, your clothing is going to dirty your wound externally. So if you, and when you want, when you focus on that, I would say if you clean clothes with, with um, soap, all you do is you go stand in water, knee deep, with soap on you, you right click on it, and you wash it, okay? You wash all. All doesn't mean all your clothing. All means you're going to wash this, this clothing piece completely till it's 100% clean. And that will enable you um, to create cleaner rags, okay? Rags that are cleaner. And that is the main thing, is to, is to bandage yourself with, with clean rags and to um, make the chances of infection much less. Because the only way you can get an infection is by not treating it or not stabilizing the wound fast enough. Okay. Now, when it comes to stabilizing a wound, when you go into your stats, you will see that your healing speed is at about 1.75, okay? So that is how much we're healing while we're standing. If we lie down, we are still just healing. At, we, we, we're healing a little bit faster, okay? From 1.075 to 1.264, depending on what your constitution is. But if you either sit down or lay down, both are the same then you effectively double your healing speed, okay? And your healing speed means that your wound is going to stabilize, going to recovery mode much faster and give the infection almost no time. Or the wound, it will give the wound almost no time to go into an infection, okay? So let me, let me show this to, to you guys practically. So I'm just going to spawn in a... A puppet here and let him hit me a few times. So, 
The first thing I want you to focus on with a wound is you Okay, you will not get an infection until the contamination percentage reaches 100%. But at this moment, because my clothing is clean, my external pathogens are only, at, are only increasing at 0.5% per minute, okay? And my wound, my, the germs in my wound are only at 0.1. So that gives me a total... At the moment, it's just giving me a total of uh, 0.5%, which the wound is, is spreading by, but my immune system is countering it with 2%, you know, with 2%, 1.8%. My immune system is just crushing the wound, okay? So that, that, so that, that, that isn't really a problem anymore. You can see now my injury is recovering because the immune system is 0.9 and the external pathogens or 0.9, okay? So the contamination is, is, is cannot increase. You can see that the ca contamination is, on, is on, on, on 0%. So the only thing I want you to focus on is you've got two red values. The first red value is the external pathogens. That increases the chance of infection. That increases the contamination percentage. The wound germs is the germs inside your wound. The external pathogens is your clothing or the bandage that you put onto your wound, okay? So, um, but basically, if you put a dirty a dirty bandage on your wound, let me just, let this guy hit me again. Okay, so at the moment, external pathogen, 1%, okay? If I put a dirty rag, dirty rags on this wound, like this is, this is dirty rags, guys. This is 100% dirty. The external pathogen is now at 1.9%. Now, although my immune system is strong enough to counter that, I want you to see that the bandage that you, that you use increases the external pathogen. How dirty your clothing is increases the external pathogen, okay? So if I take off all my clean, all my clean clothing on my chest... And I put on the dirty clothing. And then I basically remove this dirty bandage. Now you will see that the external pathogen is still increasing, okay? It's still more than what it was because of the dirty clothing that we have on us, okay? And I just want to see where's the wound in the foot. Oh, the wound's on my arm. The wound's on my arm, okay? So let's see if we can get this puppet to hit us on the chest. <laughs> Okay, so there we've got a chest wound, okay? Now, what is this? Yeah, chest, chest. Because we've got the dirty clothing on and because, um, you know, because we've got the dirty clothing on and the wound is on our chest, right arm, yeah, chest. Look at the external pathogens. 
Now the external pathogens are much higher. You can see the contamination is increasing and our immune system isn't strong enough to counter it. The contamination is just going to grow, okay? And if we run around, okay, we can't run around now, but if we keep moving around and we ignore it, then it is going to go to 100% and you are going to get the infection, okay? Now, if we treat this, what is this? We take the chest, we treat it with two dirty rags. You can see, even though we use the dirty rag, the contamination is still increasing because two minus the external pathogen and the wound germs works together. So it's 2.8% plus 0.5%, which equals 3.3%, okay? Or 34 it's 3.4% now. So 3.4% minus the 2% from the immune system gives the contamination an increase of 1.4%. I want you guys to understand this. It's only the external path pathogen and the wound germs, the two, red, the two red lines, that increases the infection. The two bottom ones, the immune system and the disinfectant, decreases the, the contamination. Okay, so at the moment, the infection is winning. The external pathogen percentage plus the wound germ percentage is higher than the only um, green, uh, is higher than our immune system. Okay, so it's going to keep increasing. When it hits 100%, we're going to get an infection. And now, what I want to show you is, if we take the chest and we remove the bandage, I want to show you how you can double it. Because antibiotics increases your immune system by 1,000%, you know, and solves all your problems. But the thing is, antibiotics are very, very um, expensive. But we've got the disinfectant to help us. How do we use disinfectant? With the alcohol, okay? Now we treat it with the alcohol. Now, just because we added alcohol to our wound, we cleaned the wound, okay? We cleaned the wound. So now we've got a disinfectant buff of 7.9% plus the immune system. So this is the most important thing that I want you guys to understand. The external pathogens is your bandage plus your clothing's dirtiness, okay, that is um, helping the infection, which is, which is letting the contamination grow. The wound germs is the internal germs inside your wound that is letting the contamination grow. And just having your immune system without antibiotics is usually too weak. If you've got five, co five constitution, your immune system percentage per minute will increase the higher your constitution is. But we've just got normal, you know, we've just got normal, a normal immune system here. But the alcohol will solve the problem. The, the percentage per minute does increase because you see 94.6. Where's the chest now? You can see that 94.2, 94.1, which is, which is decreasing the percentage power of the disinfectant. But it's very important for you to understand. It's just equalizing now, guys. My infection doesn't need, my immune system doesn't need to fight the contamination anymore. There is no infection here, okay? So it just equalizes. So we're fine, okay? We're fine. So the two top ones increases. External pathogens is the germs that you get from your clothing and your bandages and your bandage. Wound germs is what, what is inside the wound. And because we cleaned the wound with the, with the alcohol, the wound germs are gone now, okay? It's just basically our clothing that's affecting it now. And all we can do is remove the dirty clothing And that decreases. It was at 2.8%. Now it, the external pathogens lowers to 1.5% because the, the clothing was having an effect on it. But the disinfectant doesn't stay at a high percentage. It just, it just counters the red. The green just counters the red. Okay? And then cleans the wound. So that is a big, that is a big thing for me, guys. 
Um, like I say, I don't really get infections, but the reason I don't get infections is because I lie down, okay? And when you lie down, it increases your healing speed. So it lets this wound go into stabilization much, much faster because the only way you are going to get an infection, okay, the only way you are going to get an infection, and the reason I'm countering it now is because I'm lying down. So all my wounds, all my infections are gone, okay? All my infections are gone. But if I get a C2 wound or a C3 wound or a C4 wound, it's going to be much worse. So the biggest tip I can give you guys is to use rags from your clothing, okay, and not from puppets. If you've got no choice, then use rags from puppets, okay? And then lie down. Lying down will help you tremendously. And all you do to make a rag a, a septic rag is basically you click on the rag, you click on the alcohol, right click and you disinfect that bandage, okay? And the bandage makes a, makes a major difference. You're going to let this guy hit us one more time, which is not the best idea in the world, but we're going to do it in any case. Okay. So there you can see external pathogens, immune system. But if we treat this wound now with a clean alcohol treated, this one's on our left arm. If we treat this with a clean um, rag that we disinfected, okay, with the alcohol. Then it's gonna, then it's go, then it's going to stabilize automatically because we used a clean rag. The external pathogens are is on zero. They're the, the they're still external pathogens, okay. But because we treated the wound with a clean bandage, there is no external pathogens. So it doesn't matter what your constitution is, your body will still be able to. Your body will still be able to um, recover the wound. Okay? And the contamination will have no time to grow. Because at the moment, our immune system is fighting the, you know, the both the external and the and the wound germs. And we can see wound germ 0.1 minus the immune system 0.3 gives you a positive. Um, positive score on the contamination, which is green, meaning the contamination is decreasing by 1.2%. If the, if the um, external pathogen was, is 5 and your immune system is 3, you know, or the combination of the external pathogen and the wound germs are 5 and the combination of the immune system and the disinfectant is 3, that means the contamination is going to grow is going to grow by 2%. Okay, so please, guys, the biggest tip I can give you is as soon as you get hurt, lie down to increase your healing speed. Okay, because the, the higher you allow the contamination to grow, if the contamination goes to 50%, you won't get an infection yet. But even if it goes into, even if it goes into recovery, it will stay here. It will stay here until there is no more contamination. So it's going to take time for the contamination to, to go away. And the more you run around and play the game, the more you sweat, the dirtier your clothing becomes, okay? Your clothing is going to become dirtier and dirtier as, as you go. But as you can see, wearing puppet clothing is not the end of the world. It doesn't make a massive difference. So you guys can still do, the, you know, you guys can still wear puppet clothing when you spawn into the game so that you don't wear your oranges. You can use the puppet clothing to help you from the cold and, of course, that people don't spot you with orange clothing on, okay? But tip number one, lie down as soon as you get hurt. Tip number two, try and have one piece of clothing that is clean. Um, like, I would always wash my scarf and my underpants or my undershirt, you know, or something that I just wash that, and when I get hurt, I cut up that clean clothing, okay? And then, of course, the, the alcohol, guys, is priceless. You can use the alcohol to clean the internal germs of the wound, the wound germs. You can use the alcohol to clean that. 
and then you can disinfect the rag to crush the external pathogens, okay? So first you add the alcohol to the wound and that destroys the internal germs and then you um, clean, you make an aseptic rag to crush the external pathogens, okay? So this is the best combination, lying down, cleaning the wound, putting a clean rag on. That's it. And this only costs a thousand. You guys can go to the go to the doctor at the trader and see the others are really, really expensive. So if this if this helped you guys, do me a favor and just click that like button. And if you've got any other info to add, um, I always read all the comments and we work to here yeah, together as a community. Um, and if this helped you and you aren't subscribed yet, click that subscribe button if you want to see and learn everything there is to see and learn about scum. We've got the 0.8 update coming, guys, and I like to analyze everything, and we're going to have a lake of a lot of fun, and this game is definitely going close places, and I am here for the long run. Have a great day. And see you guys later. Cheers.